Hi kids, welcome to our buddy's lesson. We learned last week that the A in Fiegel's name stands for accept and that God accepts all of us just the way we are. Fiegel was also reminded that Jesus wants to be our best friend and that he always loves us and takes care of us. Our friend Fiegel wants to say happy birthday to all of our friends at Bayside Church. Let's jump up and sing together with our good friends at Plansy. So it starts off, everybody down here, squat, squat, squat. And can you twist while you're squatting? I found a secret. If I put one foot in front of the other and one behind, it actually helps me balance. All right, so it goes, Jesus, Jesus halfway up, Jesus, my best friend. Now, because I've got a microphone, I'm using one hand, but you can use two. My best friend. How about that? Ready for Fiegel Tales! Hey guys, this is a channel about a teeny tiny bird that became a giant bird and now he hangs out with human kids. I know it's weird and it's funny. Here he is now, it's Fiegel Tales! Have you ever looked at some of your baby photos? I'm sure you were the most adorable little puppet. Fiegel and Megan found a photo book. I know, some of us look at photos on our phones, but this is an old style photo book that Fiegel and Megan found. Do you have any baby photos? Maybe you and your family can look at those today, have a giggle, and you can head over to the Fiegel Tales Facebook page and post something on there. For now, let's go and see baby Fiegel is so adorable. Oh Fiegel, look at you as a baby. You were super cute. And look at your little baby feathers. You wouldn't say you were so little, but look at you now. You're bigger than most human kids. I have baby um, pictures too. Look at my sweet little cheeks. Let's see some baby photos from our friends. how 
fast we grew up without even noticing. It's not like we have to tell ourselves every day to grow up and multiply. Have you ever wished that you were just an adult when your parents are driving to work and you just have to look over the steering wheel? Man, I wish I could drive. Sometimes we even pretend to be bigger. You are spot on, Megan. And that's what today's video is about. The G in Fiegel stands for grow. Not only do we grow physically, but we grow in other areas as well. That's why you can think thoughts now that you couldn't think when you were little. Just like Fiegel couldn't do certain things when he was a little baby, baby, baby tot, neither could you. And it's the same with our emotions and other areas of our lives. We grow in resilience and strength and in our capacity to show love and express love and our capacity to express some of the other emotions too. What would happen if we couldn't grow? We would get stuck and you'd see a whole lot of adults still having baby bottles. That would be hilarious. In our previous video, we spoke about Jesus being your best friend forever. Well, if you have made a decision to accept Jesus, sometimes they say you are born again. Say what? It's not like being born again like a baby. That would be strange. But it is becoming part of a new family. God's family. And that takes a little bit of getting used to and growing in relationship with each other and also in the values of that family. Yes, I remember when I accepted Jesus as my forever friend. So as a baby, we eat baby food, right? He could probably had baby food too, but now he wouldn't enjoy it as much or it wouldn't fill him because his needs has changed. Now he likes burgers and pizzas. When he was a baby, he wasn't ready for that yet. It's the same with understanding God. I understand God a lot better now than when I just got to know him. When we accept Jesus into our life, we might not fully understand what that means, but the Holy Spirit helps us. And as we grow in relationship with God's family, we get to learn more and learning means growing. It might just start with a little prayer in your heart, but over time, God helps you understand him more as you grow in relationship with him. And then you get to trust him a little bit more because we can only trust those that we really know. This reminds me of a scripture in the Bible, Luke 2 verse 52. Jesus grew in wisdom and stature, and also in favor with God and man. That means um, his body grew, his mind grew, and that he grew in a relationship with God, also in a relationship with his friends and family. That's sure a lot of growing. How did he do that? Jesus shows us a great example of growing. The best thing that Jesus did was to stay close to God and to always trust him every step of the way. Whether you are in prep or maybe in grade three or maybe in grade six, it doesn't matter. If you stay close to God, he will show you every step of the way what he has planned for you and you get to grow in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. All wisdom comes from God. As we stay close to him, he will reveal everything that we need for a great life. Jesus also listened to his parents and his leaders. As we stay close to God, he will show us who are the people that can guide us and that we can trust to show us wisdom and a good way to live. Can you think of something you can do now because you've grown or you understand it more, like walking on stilts? Growing is super exciting. Can you um, try a new trick or skill? You might surprise yourself. 
I would not like being stuck. And I am very thankful that Fiegel has been toilet trained. Hoo wee! <laughs> I love challenge and change and growing, but sometimes it can feel very overwhelmed. And sometimes we resist the change and we don't want to go into the next stage or the next phase of our growing journey. And that is when we really need to trust God and trust his wisdom and know that even in the next stage and the next stage, he is with us all the time. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you give us so many opportunities to grow and change and be transformed into what you have created us to be. Thank you for the example that we have in your son, Jesus, in growing in stature and favor with God and man. God, can you help us learn from Jesus' example? And when we are stuck and feeling overwhelmed with the changes of growing, can you please guide us and help us with our big emotions? In Jesus' name, amen. Next week, we meet one of Thiegel's childhood friends and learn more about our Heavenly Dad. cute was our little friend Fiegel when he was a baby. The G in Fiegel stands for grow. Just look at these seeds growing. God helps these seeds grow just like our little bodies grow every day. We have noticed that Fiegel has grown so much. He is sure not a baby anymore. I can remember one of the first things that made Fiegel realize that he was really growing. One day, he reached up on his tippy toes to turn on the bathroom tap. And he really didn't have to tippy toe anymore. He felt so big. The Bible tells us that Jesus was also a baby and he grew up just like us. Jesus knew how it felt to have a scraped knee and even knew how it felt to have the hiccups. When Jesus was a boy, he had to learn things from his mom and dad and his church leaders, just like you and Fiegel. God helps all of us grow too. As Fiegel started growing, he started understanding words and did not talk like a baby anymore. As you grow older, you can understand more things because you are getting bigger and smarter. Fiegel says that your mind needs exercise. That's why we learn at home, at school and at church. Jesus also exercised his mind and learned more about God and how to love others. Fiegel says that our bodies also have to grow. That means we have to eat healthy food. God wants our bodies to grow big and strong. We don't always like veggies, but eating it helps us to grow. Fiegel also says that exercise is important to help your body grow. You need to play and run around. Fiegel does a lot of running around. He loves being active. Can you jump up and down? God also wants us to learn more about him and make more friends. Fiegel has a lot of different friends and he really cares and loves them. His best friend is Jesus and Jesus also learned a lot about God by praying and listening to stories about God. For today's activity, let's see if we can remember how Fiegel says God wants us to grow. Let's follow these easy steps. Put both your hands on your head. This is to remind us to exercise your mind. Put your hands on your tummy 
and this is to remind us to eat healthy food. Let's jump up and down on the spot. And this is to remind us to exercise our bodies. Let's make our hands into a Bible. And this reminds us that we should learn more about God. Let's put our hands together. This reminds us to say a little prayer. Let's wave at our friends. And this is to remind us that we should love all our friends. Let's join Fiegel and Prayer Bear for a prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for showing us how to grow into a good child of God. Please help us to exercise our minds and bodies and help us to learn more about you and make lots of friends. In Jesus' name, Amen. See you next week. Thanks for watching.